Are you a fan of Fernando Morsolo? Well, I suppose so since you clicked on this video, but are you a fan of his artworks? Because <laughs> I am. And when you think of a national artist, he probably comes first in your mind. Think of it, right? right? But who exactly is this dude? Well, to give you a quick information about Fernando Morsolo, he was born on May 30, 1892 at the district of Paco, Manila. And at the early age of 13, he was an apprentice to the renowned Filipino artist Fabian de la Rosa. So at an early age, Amor Solo is already, we may say, being groomed to be a painter. And sure enough, he pursued his dream by studying at the University of the Philippines Fine Arts and graduated at 1914. He also studied at the Escuelas de San Fernando in Madrid, Spain. Now what, you may say? Well, here's the deal. At his stay in Spain, and while he sketched at the streets and museums in Madrid, he developed a technique utilizing the use of light and color. And winter at that time, he headed to New York and discovered the works of Impressionists and Cubists. And his artworks were heavily influenced by these techniques. He then headed back to Manila, continuing his career by setting up his own studio. Uh, during this period, Omar Sola developed the use of light and backlight in his paintings. Now, this was one of his best contributions to the Philippine traditional arts, if not one of the best contributions made to Philippine arts altogether. A true genius of his time, Fernando Amor Solo was best known for his masterful landscapes and portraits. And through his extensive work, Amor Solo helped form the Filipino national identity and nurture a sense of nationhood by celebrating art, culture, traditions, and Filipino ideals. Amongst other artists at his time, he represented the natural Filipino living in its most genuine and natural depiction. One distinct feature exhibited by Morsolo's paintings is the glow highlighting against a figure. This is often referred to the technique called chiaroscuro, which became his artistic trademark and his greatest contribution to Philippine painting. All things noted, is it specifically his Kairos Euro technique which made his painting stand out? Well, his Kairos Euro technique has undeniably changed how we look at Philippine traditional paintings. To put it in another way, yes, yes, his techniques have made his artworks so remarkable and outstanding. However, it is important to note that besides his techniques and art principles, it is the synthesis of his fervidness, artistic standards, and passion. Fernando Morsolo will truly be remembered down the history of Philippine arts. That's pretty much it for this video and I hope you all like it. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Gabriel Joseph Adan from Humes 12 to 